with this video we will um, continue with factorization now in the previous video we did um, factorization by distributive law so I'm just going to recap a question on that so for example we have um, 4a plus 4b and we're going to factorize this question to factorize this question we would expand these um, 4a in terms of multiplication and expand 4b in terms of multiplication so we would have um, 4 times a plus 4 times b then we would look on both sides of this plus sign look on both sides to see what is common if you look carefully realize that we have a 4 on both sides so 4 is common on both sides I'm going to write down that 4 open a bracket what's left I'm going to put it inside of this bracket what's left we have a, a plus B and if we should expand this we should get back um, the question so 4 remember bracket means to multiply 4 times A is 4A and 4 times B is 4B so this would be our um, solution based on factorization by distributive law what we'll be looking at now is factorization by grouping so we'll be looking at factorization by grouping now factorization by grouping is similar to factorization by distributive law like this one that we did before for example what if we had so a question similar to this what if we had like 4a plus 4b plus 3 3 x a plus 3 x b so with factorization by distributive law we deal with two terms with factorization by grouping we deal with four so this is one pair this is another pair so what I would do I would factorize the first pair first if I want to could do it like um, like how we did factorization by distributive law or we could just look at each pair to see what's common so on this side this pair on this pair pair them up this is the first pair this is the second pair the first pair if we realize there are four common so pull out the four open a bracket write on what's left which is a plus b we're going to do the same thing on this side well, if we realize what's common we have a three on both sides and we have an x so write down back so write down what's common which is three x open bracket what's left a plus b a plus b now we're going to pay attention to the signs in the bracket and the sign on the last term um, up here so the sign it didn't change as in it did not change so we are going to put back down this plus sign so the question is not finished because if we realize we have a product here we have a product here if we realize in both brackets we have a plus b so we're going to factorize again by pulling out the a plus b or we could say we have a plus b twice so i'm going to write it on once and anything that was outside of the brackets, I'm going to put, to put them in a bracket by themselves, which is 4 plus 3x. This would be our solution for this question based on factorization by grouping. I'm looking at a few other questions. For example, we have, <coughs> for example, we have 3 g minus 3t plus 2mg minus 2mt now sometimes we can even rearrange the question to um, get it factorized but in this case it's very simple as I said we're going to pair them up by grouping them so this is the first pair this is the second pair so along the first pair <coughs> realize that 3 is common so 3 open a bracket what's left g minus t on this side we're going to do the same thing or we could say that anything in this bracket we just rewrite it on this side which is 
v minus t anything in this bracket should always be in the bracket on this side once we're doing our factorization by grouping now looking at the pair up on this side realize that 2m is common so we're going to write 2m now did the sign change no it didn't so we put positive outside or we just write button sign at the front so our answer would be we have g minus t twice so write it down once which is g minus t and anything that's left outside of the brackets write it on the bracket by itself 3 plus 2m so i'm going to do a few more questions between into this let's say we have um 2p minus 2q minus p squared plus p q so i'm going to pair them again factorization by grouping the first pair you would realize that 2 is common so 2 open bracket p minus q is left inside of the bracket remember anything in this bracket should also be in the bracket on this side which is p minus q now looking at the top we would realize that what is common p this is p squared this is p so p times p give us p squared p times q p q so p is common now paying attention to the signs did the sign change yes the sign had changed from positive to negative what can we multiply negative by to get a positive we can multiply it by negative as, or as i said we just write down by sign at the front so our final answer we have p minus q twice so we're going to write it down once and anything that's left outside of the brackets i'm going to write it in a bracket by itself which is 2 minus p that would be our solution now another one let's say we had 3x minus 6y plus x squared minus 2xy just like we did before pair them up group them in twos along the first pair we realize that 3 is common 2 times 6 2 times 3 right here gives us some um, 6 so 3 is common so 3 open bracket what's left x minus 2y we could even check it you but use it by using distributive law 3 times x is 3x 3 times 2y is negative 6y remember anything in this bracket should also be in a bracket on this side so i'm going to write x minus 2y now by looking at the second pair realize that x would be common because x times x would give me x square x times 2y would give me 2xy so x is common did the sign change no we put a positive outside our final answer would be anything we say twice write it down once which is x minus 2y anything that's outside of the brackets put in a bracket by itself 3 plus x so that would be our answer I'm going to go ahead and um, solve probably a few more questions so let's say we had four x squared plus eight x y minus x y minus two y squared now as we did before we're going to pair them up so the first pair look what is common realize that there's a four x common on both sides so we'll pull out four x open a bracket what's left what can i multiply x by to get x squared multiply it by x plus what can i multiply four by to get eight two and realize y so four x times x is four x squared and four x times two y is eight x y so remember anything in this bracket goes in the bracket on this side which is x plus two y now looking up here what's common realize that <coughs> the sign had changed so we know that there's a negative the negative sign is going to go outside and we have y we have y squared so y is common also so y is common so minus y times x minus xy minus y times positive 2y is negative 2y squared so our answer would be x plus 2y because remember anything we see twice we write it down once and anything that's left outside of the brackets we put it in a bracket by itself 
which is 4x minus y. This would be our answer. If we should expand the product of two binomials, we should get back our question. I'm going to go ahead and solve another one. Let's say we had 2hm minus 2nh minus 3mk plus 3nk. Go ahead and pair them up. So the first pair, realize that 2 and h is common. So 2h, open bracket, what's left? m minus n. Close our bracket for the first pair. Remember, anything in this bracket should also go in the bracket on the other side, which is m minus n. Now, if we, if we look carefully, we realize that k is common on both sides and also 3. So we have 3 k. Now, let's pay attention to the signs. Did the sign change? Yes. So we're going to put a negative outside. Or as I said before, just write down by the sign that's at the front of the second pair. Now, we have m minus n twice. We're going to write it on once. m minus n. And anything that's outside of the bracket, so we're going to write it in a bracket by itself, which is 2h minus 3k. So hopefully, um, you're getting a hang of this um, factorization by grouping. In the next video, I'll be looking at um, factorization by difference of two squares. So check that one out. So, I'm just going to do another um, question. Okay, I'll do this section of the paper. So, let's say I have um, 2x squared minus 3x plus 8x minus 12. Now, pair them up. First pair, we have x is common. So, we're going to pull out x, open a bracket. 2x here minus 3. Let's check it. x times 2x, 2x squared. x times minus 3, minus 3x. Remember, anything in this bracket should also be in the bracket on this side. 2x minus 3. Now, what can I multiply 2 and 3? What can I multiply 2 by to get 8 and 3 by to get 12? That's 4. 4 times 2x is 8x. 4 times negative 3 is negative 12. Did the sign change? No. So we write the positive sign at the front here. Now remember, anything we say twice, write it down once. Anything that's outside of the brackets, we put it in a bracket by itself, which is x plus 4. That's it.